those days where we're doing a little something different. We do some exhaust hood stuff. But what we had was a motor that uh, had bad start windings. It uh, wouldn't uh, start on its own every time, even though it would spin freely. You've got uh, four brackets around the outside corner. And then you had two other brackets around the outside edge corner. And this is the way I found out to be easiest. This one here, depending on how far that comes out, this little ledge here just come down really close to the outside edge. If you're too far in, you'll hit it. If you're too far back, you'll lose some of your suction. If you guys are new, these things what would appear run backwards. Uh, they kind of like backhand the air, and that's how it actually pulls out. Getting back to how I decided where it goes. I measured from here to there, and then wrote it down somewhere where I can remember. Two inches, seven eighths is the uh, gap between here and there. That way it should be identical. Then you had a locking nut here, which you wanted to loosen that first. Then you could do your square head. And if you didn't know, also the square heads here will match your refrigeration wrenches. So you're able to use those. And don't use an open end wrench on this. Even my great Baco there would have stripped it. Use a box wrench, preferably a six sided wrench. This one here is gonna take a little bit of modification. The plug on it's a little bit different. But most importantly here, so we wanted to make sure our amperages or RPMs are the same and just do off the wiring diagram there what we need, whether it's high voltage or low voltage. So we'll just be chopping the plug, wiring it the way it needs to go. But when it was powered up, that's when it would uh, seize up and just lock into place and check the capacitor and that wasn't the issue. If you wanted to try to take this out, which would have appeared to have been easier, there's no way to hold that very easily and this is a greasy nasty mess. We're going to make certain that our voltage is 115 volts because about the time you don't you wire it all up you got to change all that back and we are 121 volts. Hot diggity dogs. Fits. Our next question is going to be the shaft length. That shaft looks a little bit longer. That's kind of scary. I hope it works. If this will fit, it'll work. I think we might be alright. It's about the maximum there. There's two inches, two and seven eighths is probably not going to work. and a quarter that's fantastic all right i just found out captive air is where we got it at that's who made it so i'm going to call them and make sure this is going to work thank you for calling the cash service technical support and park center okay well they said that it is the motor that goes with it because that motor is no longer made so if this don't work we've covered our bases I'm going to put this out as far as I can get it without having problems. There's the set screw. I don't want to be at the very, very end of that shaft. That would probably not be good. That's about as far as I think I should go. Got that one. Get this one. Basically, these little puppies here pop into those holes inside there and try to get her back in here. I was here originally to work on their cooler but he said something was acting funny up here so I came up and looked at it thought maybe it was just a belt it wasn't this has got to rotate around because that's got to match see how that's got to match up that's where your power comes through we'll get her in all the way and we'll rotate it into place not refrigeration but it's all related the more you keep in the door, keep the other companies out, the better. My fingers actually can't get in between there, so it looks like it feels like it's actually proper fit. The other one might have been set too far in, and honestly, what I noticed when I was uh, sizing it up and kind of checking it over. If I moved it very much, it actually hit back here in the back. So, 
They may have been set too deep to begin with. Yep, there we go. You can see the holes right there. This part I hate most, the grease. We're right in place. Not bad. I like leaving things intact as much as I can. Okay. This is just for this particular motor. I like twisting mine before I put them in there. That way I know they're combined. There's that. They do a good job. I particularly like my other one for big wires, but these work great for pretty much everything. We'll mount this back up like it had it. Just mount it up here some tappers, just like that. wire nut or wire tie this to together that keeps the plug from pulling apart and from anything dangling rubbing into something else don't need my ground in there though so I'll keep my plugs together like that keeps them from vibrating into anything Yeah, we're properly grounded now. Okay, we double checked our rotation, got it dated. Check the amperage, I don't know where the video cut out at. Got everything taped up, everything secured, ground wires hooked up, fan speed set. Checked it all the way down on low speed. Thank you for taking the time to check out the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Make sure you check out the link section down below. Until next time, we'll catch you on the next one.